Welcome. This is Kevin from JJ Hat Sensor. This is JJ Hat Sensor. It's like uh, pretty much the oldest, maybe the most famous uh, iconic hat shop there is. Uh, we're on Fifth Avenue, a block under the Empire State Building. Uh, it's a three level shop, although there's only one floor of actual uh, inventory. The other two floors are just strictly boxes in stock. We just have so much, you know, for each one of these piles, there's just, you know, like cases and cages, you know, for this here. It comes in lots of colors, lots of sizes, and uh, we've got summer collections and uh, felt collections, which are equally as big. So we can't fit the summer collection in here at the same time as the felt collection, because it's huge. It takes up this entire space. Um, actually, this is only about half the space, because I'm right in the middle, you know, behind the camera, there's another, not equally that long. But anyway, I'm over here situated at the large counter. That's why, because I want to try in some caps. Um, the cap videos I made have been the highest rated. Uh, most people seem to like the cap videos and the Western videos. So I'm going to make it like a thing to make a lot more videos talking about caps, educating you, so you can see our entire inventory of caps eventually. I'm going to go through tons of them today, so there's just lots of them. I have a little bit of uh, allergies, so I'm a little stuffy sounding, so just uh, bear with me. All right, there are two different families of caps, essentially, essentially. You know, there's also baseball caps and Greek fishermen and yacht caps and sailor caps, it's, but basically, in a, in a hat shop like this, there is what you call an eight-piece cap, otherwise known as a newsboy cap. It has a button and eight sections, usually like a pizza pie. Sometimes they have six, usually it's eight. Those are the wider, puffier hats. They're more nostalgic, and you buy these if you like a little flop on the sides. If it's bothering you, you gotta embrace the floppiness of it. You can't hide from them. If it's bothering you, you gotta go for the other type of cap, which is called the ivy cap. Now, just like the newsboy cap, which is called an eight-piece cap, an eight quarter cap, that's actually what we call it in the, in the business, eight quarter caps, Gatsby's, Newsboys, um, Apple Jacks, I've heard it called a Big Apple, which is actually the bigger version. Um, there's a million names for it. Um, we call them Newsboys or eight piece caps. Now the skinnier type of non floppy type is gonna be basically called an Ivy cap. They're also known as driver's caps, driving caps, English caps, flat caps. The ivy cap is simple, it's just like a wedge. Now, ivy caps come skinnier, really, really, really skinny with no meat at all on the sides, or they come wider. So do newsboy caps. So here's the thing, if you try one on, you can't say, ah, I don't like this. They're all different. I have ivy caps that start skin tight, like totally, like really skinny, and then I have ones that are a little wider like this, and then I have ones that are way wider than this, and the same thing goes for newsboys. I'm going to show you really quickly. This is a fairly big newsboy, although they come bigger than this, okay? That's a floppy hat, right? Big and wide? Okay. You also have newsboys that are really, really teeny tiny. It just depends on what you ask for. Um, all right, this might not be teeny tiny, but it's, it's a small little newsboy, right? It's barely anything on the sides, but it still has the button. Six sections, yeah, one, two, four, five, six, okay. Now a six piece newsboy is generally a little bit skinnier. It's just like that. If you like one that's skinny, a lot of them will be six piece, but six piece ones are kind of rare. Most of the time you're gonna see eight piece and the eight piece will be skinnier or wide. They just have both types. Excuse me, I just want to get a cap from behind the counter. Um, there's a couple of things that are not represented here. I know I talked about, I talked about ivy caps and newsboys. A third category is like these, these are the, the Greek fisherman caps. Okay, it's not my size, I grabbed it too quick. Greek fisherman cap is like a yacht cap shape or a sailor shape, captain's cap, a chauffeur cap. The Greek caps are usually made by this company, Aegean. Aegean makes the original one, they're in Greece like 45 bucks. We have them in wool, we have them in cotton. Uh, sorry, let me get it again. They come in a lot of varieties. Um, let me grab something again. All right. This is a Greek fisherman, 100% cashmere, 
We sell this more to the ladies. It's bigger. This is a Greek, Greek fisherman wool and black. Really popular. It's a cool, like Ringo Starr wore that. I think a hard day's night. The cool cap, right? Forty-five bucks. It's got this like you know, the leather sweat on. I think it's fake leather, sad and running. It lasts you a good long time. You have it like twenty years or something or more. Cashmere ones are, you know, they're expensive. But I just wanted to show you these before I delve too deeply into uh, flat caps and newsboys because there are other types of caps. There's all sorts of things, Dutch boys and, you know, and berets and stuff. All right, let's get into it now. Now, a smaller newsboy is like this. Here's a small one. This is made out of Harris tweed. Harris tweed is a type of tweed that comes from a special island in Scotland. It has to be like officially stamped with this Harris tweed label and it has to come off of this island, the island of Harris. And uh, they have special fabrics, you know, they, they're officially, you know, designed by them and made. And it has a little kind of a microscopic fuzz layer. And then when water, rain or snow falls down on it, it's almost like that kind of little fuzzy layer beads the, the rain. So they're kind of like very rainproof and stuff. Now this Harris Tweed is an example of a newsboy cap that's small. That's ironic. Um, most newsboys are baggy, like, like this Irish cap. All right? This is called the Tully. The Tully is kind of like our most popular. You know what, I'm going to put the Tully on a little. A little bit smaller because they they run really really big. Here's the thing about Irish caps. Irish caps run huge. If you're gonna buy anything Irish, you have to consider buying a size smaller. Their medium fits like a large or like a medium and a half. Okay, medium is perfect for me. I wear large in everything. Okay, so you got to go down a size when you're buying Irish. This is the Tully. The Tully is. Famous for these very, very strong herring bones. It's probably the thickest uh, cap you'll ever find. It's like a thick, thick Irish sweater or something, you know, like that really bulky stuff. Very warm. Um, what's cool about the Tully model is you could get your ears in there too if you're really freezing. Look at that, my ears are in there. It's got a big crown, it's got a snap like old school caps. So if you're, you know, got like dreads or something, you know, it's big. But this is a classic Irish cap, it's not funky. It's just very high end, very, very thick. Um, these are indeed expensive. They're 125, but they're worth it. They're Irish tweeds from Jonathan Richards. Jonathan Richards is going to be the most expensive of all the Irish tweed companies, okay? So the Tully is a big, thick Irish cap. It's pretty big. It's a classic apple, all right? Now, there are other big, big apples like this. There's something called the Big Apple, which is that big. It would be almost clown-like for me. You gotta be a big guy, big shoulders. Big Apple, I can't get to right now because they're kind of locked up. It's, it's after hours, so, you know. Normally, I'd be going home to my family right now, but I decided to stay later to show you guys some stuff. So, I can't show you the apple right now. This is not the Big Apple. This is the regular apple, okay? Another name for an Applejack, not a big apple, an Applejack would be a Newsboy. It's a big, okay? This is like what the truck drivers wear. This is called the JJ Newsboy Leather. The JJ Newsboy is another big one like the Tully, but it's not expensive. In leather, it's like maybe 65. In wool, it's 45 bucks. Check this out, it's really nice. Okay, here's a wool Newsboy, $45. These are like made in New York. Pretty cool. Okay, that's your classic newsboy. Got some some heft. Now listen, not everybody is down with this. It's got a lot of, you know, it's like Babe Ruth or whatever. Um, I personally think you got to be a little big, big guy to wear this, you know, like Sopranos guy or something. The Tully, yeah, I can play that off. You make it, you break it down, so at least we call this breaking down the head. It's going to look smaller, it's going to look better. Yeah, the Tully's nice for me, okay? Generally, I'm gonna tell you now, some people like a little baggier kind of hip-hop look, they go with these wider ones. It's generally guys who are a little older, 
little more down with it, 40, 50. You know what's up back in the 40s, the gangster days. That's what people really wore, the wide stuff. But, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm getting another cap. Um, now here's the deal. 90% of newsboy guys who walk in here don't want something as wide as the Tully or the JJ Newsboy. They want something a little trimmer. I'm going to show you the modern version of a newsboy cap, the Stetson. Now the Stetson is making probably the best, best selling newsboys now because they're trim, they're modern looking. You see that? It's a good size. So a regular young man can walk in here with any build, wear this, and it doesn't look costume like. And it's not Donny Hathaway or Babe Ruth or John Lennon, it's just, it's tasteful. Um, Stetson makes something called the Hatteras. The Hatteras comes in silk and cashmere, it comes in wool, it comes in linen, it comes in leather, it comes in goatskin suede. Like I said, all cashmere, silk and cashmere, a million different versions, it's a shape. Here's a Hatteras and a heavier one. It's almost like them trying to do the Irish cap. Remember the Tully I showed you before? But with a skinnier crown. Okay, so a young man might be down with this because it's small, you know? It's modern. Where the actual Tully that I tried on, a size smaller, this is a medium Tully, whole size smaller, is going to look poofier than this Stetson. Well, not everybody's ready for all that girth. Yeah, it's cool though. So the lesson is newsboys and flat caps come in all different widths. They come narrow, they come wide. The Irish stuff is generally the thickest. Stetson makes all different stuff. Their stuff is a little bit more modern because it's not as wide. You know? um, it's going to be skinnier. Now let's look at some very skinny caps. We didn't go into that direction yet. What do I got that's real skinny? Uh, okay, there's something called the JJ Slim. It's not even my skinniest cap. Let's see what else I can find. Maybe a medium here? Hold on. Bear with me. People in cyberspace. Yeah. Okay. Not everything is available right now to me. That we're closed and stuff. How is this? Is this a skinny cap? Yeah, that's a skinny cap. This is what's trendy now. Super skinny. Guys put that on their girlfriends like, oh, that I like. Because it looks modern. It doesn't look like retro or flashy or, you know, overdone. For me, I don't know, it makes my ears stick out a little too much. But right now, I mean, it's okay. That's a skinny ivy cap, okay? Here's something medium skinny. That's a Stetson also. Here's a Stetson. It's got a different front. You see this? The extended front. This cap looks slightly wider. They're both ivies. Look at this cap with the protruding front. This front is almost like a baseball cap. You see the way it's all sewn down? It comes to more of a point. So the fronts are very different. And it's the front of the hat that gives you the whole look. Not back here, it's just here. So that's the width right there. And if you keep banding it, it gets skinnier and skinnier. So you can go super skinny. It's almost like a one step past a baseball cap, you know? Which is like, it's casual. And it's easy to wear. It's one of those things like, if you think you're not really ready for caps or hats or whatever, that's a good way to dip your feet in the water because it's like, it's not a baseball cap, but the front is a baseball cap. And then it just goes to a kind of a plain round back, you know. It's a grown-up version of a baseball cap. That's what I say. So, you know, modern ivy cap might be really good for you. So ivies, newsboys, otherwise known as flat caps, newsboys. The skinny ones, the wide ones. Remember, there are different types of both. There's skinny newsboys, wide newsboys. Skinny ivies, wide ivies. Um, there's also an entire collection of summer caps. Now, summer stuff is generally made of linen. Um, it's the same deal. We've got all sorts of stuff, you know, for summer. The fabrics are just different, but the approach is the same. You know, like your skinny ivy cap, 
you've got something like, you know, a little bit more two-tone and Italian. It's a little more Gucci-fied, you know? The thing with our caps, they're all what they call custom-made. Not everything. Stetson, you know, they have their models and they come in colors. Most of our stuff is custom. What we do is we choose a shape, we choose the colors, um, we choose the lining, the sweatbands, everything about it, um, and we set the price points. Do we want something that's all cashmere and waterproof? Do we want something that's just regular wool? Um, there's all different levels of pricing that we can order too. Oh. So our inventory is very, very customized. You're going to see models here that you just don't see anywhere else. Um, fabrics, you know. You look at what brand it is, it's just JJ Hat Center. We have them custom made with this sweatband, this lining, with what we call the JJ Slim shape. It has these kind of rainbow patterns in the back, which has a purpose. What that does, basically, very, very skinny caps. When you go, when you go skinny, they tend to be very shallow. So um, the problem is sometimes they're too shallow for tall guys. There's not enough depth. So when you do this, you have this rainbow pattern cut. It's supposed to give us more depth. More, so for taller guys, it's not like, you know. So in other words, it's not too short back there. It's longer where other caps might go up to there or something. So the JJ Slim is really well designed. It's deep, you know, it's super lightweight. You, know, you could fold them up and stuff. Um, there's all kinds of things. This is another one we do custom, the pub cap, which comes to like a point in the baseball cap front. It's linen, this is plastic in here. Now, 99.9% .9 of caps, when they die, they die here. What happens is they get wet and people do stuff like this. They get a crack in it and it starts going like a, like a door, like a hinge. It's broken. Um, you try to get it repaired, there's nobody who does it. That's the problem. I mean, maybe you could find somebody if you really, really check. Most people don't. They don't want to mail it off to some guy in a different state. You know? um, that's what goes. This cap has a plastic visor, which is very, very cool. That is one of the best upgrades. The Irish caps have them. Uh, all the stuff from Ireland does. This pub cap has it, a few other things. Why is that great? First of all, that's where they always break because they're always made out of cardboard. When cardboard or paper gets wet, it can crack. Now, it can be sweat, it can be just rain, it can be humidity they eventually all die in the same place. So if it's made out of plastic, you're going to get a lot, lot more longevity. The other thing is with the plastic visor is now you're able to hand wash the hat. So you can take like a little brush or something, a tiny bit of wool light, warm water. What I do is I take, here's how you wash a cap. You take the lining and the sweatband itself. Those are the two places that make contact here around the perimeter and the top, the lining. You wash those and you pull it away from the cap because most of the time you got cardboard here. You wash the lining with woolite, brush, whatever. I use a nail brush. Those are perfect. You rinse it out thoroughly. Rinse it out. Keep it away from the brim, the water. Do the same thing to the sweatband. A little bit of like a half a cap of woolite with warm water. Then you rinse it out. You don't wring it. Just rinse it, rinse it. Okay. Make the cap shape. Put it down on a towel. Dry it on the towel, boom. When it's like 99% or 95% dry, you can stuff it like this. Personally, I don't really like to do that method. What I like to do is just let it dry. Get, it's gonna get a little bit wrinkled. What I do is I stuff it really, really tight with tissue. Okay, like super tight. You know, I'll put like five more tissues in there, or whatever, three more. And when I get it really, really, really tight, I steam it, like tight, like a drum, you know what I mean? Get all these wrinkles out. Then I steam it, and I let it dry like that. That's how you get the wrinkles out. Or bring it to JJ's. If you're a New Yorker or New Jersey, whatever, in the area, bring it in. We'll steam it for you. But, yeah, plastic visors are rare. Pub cap, we don't have a lot of these left. They come in a few colors, you know, weird prints, and they come in red and green and yellow.
And then the other stuff has plastic too, but that's a great upgrade that you do not see a lot on caps anymore, the plastic thing. So don't expect to see it, you know, if you want to like buy something from us, yeah, I want it with a plastic visor, don't be picky because there's not a lot of it. Um, all the Irish stuff has it, uh, Jonathan Richards, Hannah Hats, you know, most of Hannah Hats has it, uh, the Nomical Tweeds. And um, that cap that I just showed you called the pub cap, which is pretty neat. Pub cap, linen, I think there might be wool, but maybe not that many. You could look on uh, gjhatcenter.com and uh, look, uh, maybe some of them will be on clearance, you never know. So anyway, I'm going to go home, it's been a long, long day, and uh, there'll be more cap videos coming soon, I promise, okay? So, be well, take care guys.